please subscribe. The 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Vela is mid-sized luxury SUV and that admission by the automaker, yes, we understand that not all Range Rovers will traverse jungles. The new SUV lives up to its Land Rover name and rugged hardware, but its software's and daring line speak to its eventual calling as an urban accessory for many owners. It succeeds as both, which is how we arrive at our 8.2 overall rating. Few vehicles rate as highly as a new Wheeler, but it doesn't come cheaply. The new Wheeler starts at just over $50,000 and ends up somewhere around a small villa in Italy. Its most convincing argument for Voku Box is two 10-inch touchscreens in the center console that control infotainment and vehicle functions. Adapted from prior Jaguar Land Rover systems, the new infotainment system is responsive, sharp, and devastatingly gorgeous. It may be the most convincing argument yet that automakers don't necessarily need to turn to Apple or Android to make infotainment user interfaces. But passers-by won't see the touchscreens. They'll see an exterior sharpened with Land Rover's chief designer Jerry McGovern's pen turned whetstone. The Wheeler takes the F-Pace's shape and reveals its elements, long hood, sloping roofline, massively open wheel arches. The Wheeler even rids itself of door handles to focus on its body lines. Under the hood, the Wheeler turns back to the Jaguar for inspiration, for better or worse. The bass engine in the Wheeler is a gas-powered turbo 4 that makes 247 horsepower, upgradable to a turbozel inline 4 that's best trek is up to 30 miles per gallon highway. The best option is a supercharged V6 that makes 380 horsepower, but it's not because of its sub-6 second 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint, it's the only engine that comes with an air suspension. That trio of engines is the same found under the Jaguar Ref Pace and it's starting to show frays around the edges. None are particularly refined, and although all of them aptly power the Wheeler, it's not particularly thrilling to drive on the road. While the driver manages the road, other passengers are treated to an opulent interior that's one of Range Rover's best. Leather hides will adorn most cabins, while an optional premium cloth steals the show for us. Yes, you pay more for the cloth. Yes, it's worth it. In top trims, the Wheeler adds a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster that ups the viewable inches of screens to more than some of our TVs at home, while multi-adjustable front seats are all day comfortable. We stop short of saying the same for the rear only because tall passengers may be asking for a more leg room. But shod with 22-inch wheels, a light exterior tone, and black roof, most people may spend more time outside the Vilera looking at it than inside. It's that stunning. The 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Velar is the best looking SUV on the road today, inside or out. It begins as a Jaguar Ref Pace, which we deemed excellent in its sheet metal, and pairs down to the essential curves further. The interior goes the opposite direction, with more expressive details, lines and colors, without kitsch. Inside or out, it's excellent and will be a benchmark for other Range Rovers, and other SUVs, to come. It tests our styling scale. The Wheeler rids itself of door handles, curvy lines, and frippery in favor of a clean profile and basic interpretation on proportions. The hood looks impossibly long for an SUV, a single character line drawn from the headlights reaches back toward the tail in a long, uninterrupted crease. Copper accents on the front fenders are painfully on trend and can be covered with an optional black package, but why? The Wheeler cuts the most efficient hole in the wind of any Land Rover before it, and the Wheeler looks every bit worth the effort. Inside, the Wheeler strikes out on a different path. While the interior is very modern and clean with brushed aluminum accents, an unbroken span of leather on the upper dash, and an understated center console, it's hard to ignore the 20 inches of touch screens fitted into the center console. High tech and elegant aren't mutually exclusive. It's in the details that Range Rover starts to complicate the interior of the Wheeler, but not excessively. 
A new diamond perforation pattern on the seats repeats the Union Jack across the hides. A texture with hundreds of raised ridges adorns the dash as an option. An optional premium cloth serves as notice. The Veeler is a new standard. Upper trims get the works across the doors and other details, but no Veeler feels cheap. In some respects, the 2018 Range Rover Land Rover Veeler is very similar to the Jaguar Ref Pace, with which it shares a structure and power trends. In some respects, the two couldn't be more different. Like the Jag, the Range Rover is powered by a choice among two turbo four engines or a supercharged V6. All of the engines aptly power the Veeler, albeit in different ways. Regardless of engine, the Range Rover shuttles power through a standard 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. It should be noted that all Veelers have built-in Land Rover Ness, which is to say, it'll go anywhere. Chances are it won't, but the engines and transmissions are excellent. We give it an 8 for performance anyway. Most Land Rover Range Rover Veelers will have a supercharged V6 under the hood that makes 380 horsepower and 332 pound-feet. It's enough to motivate the Veeler up to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, but it doesn't feel that fast. It's a V6 that's most promising attribute is that it's the same size as a V8, the extra two cylinders are actually filled in, and a balance shaft is added, but the V6 isn't particularly refined. At full chatter, it doesn't emit good noises, but thankfully the Veeler features plenty of sound deadening material and a sublime sound system keeps those at bay. The Bass gas powered turbo 4 is the second most popular engine and is a relatively good solution, especially considering the V6 carries a $9,500 price premium. The turbo 4 makes 247 horsepower and 269 pounds to foot and only takes one second longer to sprint up to 60 miles per hour and commits one of the same since as the V6, the Turbo 4 doesn't sound all that confident at full throat. Highway passing maneuvers will take pre-planning, and a few clicks down on the paddle shifters, to execute. According to Range Rover, 1 in 10 buyers will opt for the available turbozil and it's hard to argue against conventional wisdom. At just $1,500 over a comparably equipped Turbo 4, the Turbozilt is relatively modestly priced, but its value is only found in long highway jaunts. Off-road fans may appreciate the diesel's 317 pounds to foot of pull low in the rear range, but not many off-road fans will consider a Range Rover with 20-inch wheels anyway. The standard 8-speed automatic is a willing, and whisper quiet assistant to all engine. In all applications, it blends into the background without much to talk about, only a little hesitation to kick down requisite gears in the Turbo 4 to pull off a highway pass. Paddle shifters help. The bass suspension setup is a double wishbone up front and integral rear link combination at the rear. Turbo 4 gas or diesel, models do without adjustable suspension this year, V6 versions get an air adjustable setup that can raise or lower the Veeler 3 inches, up to a total of 9.9 .9 inches for ground clearance. With the V6 and up to 22 inch wheels at each corner, the adjustable setup is mandatory. The Veeler's different off-road hardware compared to the Jaguar Ref Pace, including much longer wheel travel keeps the Veeler's corners busy, sometimes to the detriment of passengers. We dopped for the 20-inch tires instead, our preference for the F-Pace 2, that seem like the compromise between fashionability and comfort on the road. Regardless of suspension, the Veeler steers accurately and confidently, but the feeling through the wheel is always sugar-free. Even with sport steering engaged, which pumps additional hep through the wheel, the electric power assist track conveys a somewhat artificial elasticity common to most systems like it. The Veeler is rated to tow up to 5,500 pounds with a V6, or 5,200 pounds with the Turbo 4. The Land Rover Range Rover Veeler occupies an open spot for Jaguar Land Rover. It's related to the Jaguar Ref Pace in size which is 3 inches shorter and 3 inches narrower than the Range Rover Sport. It's a foot longer than the Evoque, and more versatile. But it doesn't encroach on the off-road chops of the bigger Range Rover models. Unlike the Range Rover Sport, 
the Wheeler doesn't attempt to seat more than five, and it's debatable if it should have gone that far. Starting from an average score of five, we give the Wheeler points for exceptional front seats, cargo storage, and exceptional materials. We land at an eight. The Land Rover Range Rover Wheeler is an exceptional SUV at an exceptional price. The front seats may be the best seats in the house. Multi-adjustable, up to 20 ways, seats are all day comfortable, made better by available heating, cooling, and massage functions on most models. Most models will be shot with high-quality leather seating services, but base wheelers have synthetic leather and suede materials that we haven't yet sampled. Higher trims get an optional cloth material that could appeal to eco-conscious buyers, or painfully trendy luxury shoppers. Either way, it's worth a feel, and even perhaps worth the $715 extra. Rear seat passengers are afforded reasonably comfortable seats that can be heated, but taller passengers may be cramped for space. We found that a pair of six-footers can sit behind other six-footers, but knees may touch seats, shoulders may bump each other, names could be taken, and mistakes could be made. It's not uncomfortable for adults, just not opulent as other parts of the car. The rear seats will electrically recline in most versions of the Wheeler, which may help longer to warsaws. With the rear seats up, the Wheeler carries 34.4 cubic feet of cargo, or 70.1 cubic feet with the seats folded down. Regardless of seating configuration, or who's sitting where, the Wheeler is trimmed in luxurious materials that rival cars three times its price. Bentley, we're looking at you. Range Rover's newest infotainment system attracts attention, rightfully so. It's a remarkable 20 inches of touchscreens that set a new standard. Federal and independent safety officials haven't had the time to crash a 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Wheeler. We're guessing they won't have the money, either. Until both of those conditions change we're withholding our safety score, but we're not holding our breath either. Last year's Land Rover models escaped crash testing too. The lack of official crash data isn't out of the ordinary, either. Most high-dollar, low-volume SUVs won't see the business end of a brick wall during their lives. In the absence of official safety results, all Land Rover Range Rover Wheeler models are equipped with the standard complement of airbags, traction and stability control systems. Automatic emergency braking, a rear-view camera, and lane departure warning systems are standard on all Wheeler trims. Our dynamic trims get parking sensors, blind spot monitors, drowsy driver monitors, traffic sign detection, and adaptive cruise control as standard. Active lane control is optional on that trim level, but standard on first edition models. Land Rover knows now where its spread is buttered. While very old Range Rovers paid lip service to creature comforts, despite well-heeled owners begging for them, the newest Range Rover hears them loud and clear. The 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Velar is decadently trimmed at top levels, with cloth, no less, and features more than 30 inches of visible high-definition screens in the front seats. It's a remarkable experience, and one that will set the table for other Range Rovers to come. From a base score of 5, we give the Range Rover Wheeler points above average for its starter content, optional features, infotainment screens, and one more because those screens are done in a way that will find quick fans. If you're looking for value in any of the above, have we mentioned that this is a British automaker? The Wheeler earns a 9 out of 10. Base models, which are thoughtfully called Wheeler, come equipped with 18-inch wheels, synthetic leather upholstery, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, keyless ignition, an 8-speaker audio system, automatic dual-zone climate control, a 5.0-inch driver information display, and dual 10-inch touchscreens in the center console that we'll discuss later. The next step, Wheeler Rest, adds 19-inch wheels, power-adjustable front and rear seats, leather upholstery, an upgraded audio system, navigation, and telematics services. All three powertrains are available at this grade. Our dynamic AC variants are next in sport 20-inch wheels, 
a 17-speaker audio system, a 12.3-inch driver information cluster that replaces the analog gauges, advanced safety features, perforated leather upholstery. Look closely and you'll spot the union shack, parking sensors, aluminum interior accents, and exterior details. Land Rover expects that most shoppers will opt for the R-Dynamic HSE trim level and we're actively shopping for new best friends if those people are interested. Coincidence? Probably not. HSE variants get 21-inch wheels, 20-way adjustable heated and cooled front seats, more Windsor leather in the cabin, always a good idea, more advanced safety features, we cover those separately, and a power adjustable steering column. There's a lot to like, but at more than $70,000 to start with a V6, there better be. Top of the line Vila first edition versions go the whole way, and are relative values for reasons we'll explain in a moment. First edition trim levels come with 22 inch wheels, a heated windshield, a 23 speaker sound system, head up display, a surround view camera system, a fit with style activity key that can be used instead of a typical key fob front seat massage functions, heated steering wheel, suede headliner, premium carpeting, and special door plates and plaques. It's possible to spec an HSE version to the same content as a first edition trim, but that HSE would far exceed the first edition's eye-watering starting price of around $90,500. Yeah, we know. Honorable mention, the Wheeler is offered with a premium cloth option for upstream buyers, or eco-friendly, that when covering the seats makes them feel real, and they're fantastic to borrow a line from Seinfeld. The Wheeler's killer app this year is its unique infotainment setup that even the engineers who built it didn't know what to call it, they just called it the Blade. It's dual 10-inch touch screens that are candid toward the driver, the top screen tilts forward and the bottom screen is freestanding with space underneath for small items. The touch screens work in concert, with little overlap between them. The top 10-inch screen handles navigation, music, vehicle information, connectivity, camera, and setting information, while the bottom screen handles climate control, terrain management, seat massage, if equipped and front and rear defrosters. Two rotary dials flank the bottom touch screen but they're contextual, they control different functions for the menu selected. Engineers didn't know what to call those either, they just landed on magic rings. A single volume knob is the only redundant hard key anywhere, and it's useful. The Wheeler system is adapted from prior generations of Land Rover's infotainment, but not copied over. The Wheeler's menus are more straightforward and offer a different look on the tile design that older models have used. The home screen is clean and readable, swiping right brings up a configurable menu for commonly used items. Swiping left past the home screen brings up icons for all available commands. Navigation can pinch to zoom in and out in a relatively responsive manner, and the whole system is sharp with little lag between inputs. Where the top screen is evolutionary, the bottom screen will be revolutionary for most buyers. The 10-inch display features a small drop-down for redundant audio controls and phone functions. Aside from climate and seat controls, the second screen boasts is the nerve farm for Land Rover's new terrain management system that toggles between sport, comfort, echo, and off-road modes including snow, sand, mud, and crawling. Each separate icon has its own beautiful tableau that serves as a reminder for each setting, and when used with the optional air suspension system, can be further configurable. The third member of Land Rover's terrific trio is a 12.3-inch configurable driver information display that can show map data, vehicle settings, speedometer, tachometer, and other information in a beautifully rendered screen. Skipping the head-up display means that there are 32.3 inches of high-definition displays in many Wheelers, more real estate than most of our childhood televisions. The Wheelers' first priority is in fuel economy, even though this may be the first Range Rover in history that doesn't share aerodynamic properties with an M1 Abrams tank. Most shoppers will consider the V6-powered Range Rover Wheeler, which is rated by the EPA at 18 miles per gallon city, 24 highway, 20 combined. That's good enough for a 6 out of 10 on our scale, 
although it's possible to do better. Gas-powered turbo 4 models are rated higher, 21 slash 27 23rds of a mile per gallon. Turbozil models are the most efficient, but least popular. The EPA rates those at 26 slash 30 28 of a mile per gallon. Urea-based after treatment for its exhaust will require pricey fluids every 7,000 miles or so, depending on driving habits. Among mid-sized luxury SUVs, the Range Rover is in line with competitors. Most versions of the Porsche Cayenne make an average around 20 miles per gallon combined, and the most efficient BMW X4 hovers around 23 miles per gallon combined. The Mercedes-Benz GLC class can manage 24 miles per gallon combined, according to the EPA, but only with a 2.0-liter turbo 4. We expect that the next wave of competitors will include electrified powertrains to further improve fuel economy, 